Hi. In the Netherlands, 18-year-old male students are known to have an average length of 182.6 centimeters. In Amsterdam, 25 students aged 18 years are measured. Their average length turns out to be 181.3. Can you conclude that Amsterdam students are on average shorter than their Dutch colleagues? In this video, we we'll learn about the t-test, a testing procedure that helps you to decide whether your data support the hypothesis of Amsterdam students being shorter than the average Dutch student. In many cases of hypothesis testing, you test an assumption about the value of the expectation of the model distribution. You want to know if this expectation differs from a given quantity. In this video, we assume the data are from a normal distribution with unknown parameters. In class, we will generalize this to non-normal distributions. You test the null hypothesis that mu is equal to some given mu zero against one of the following alternative hypotheses. Mu is greater than mu zero, mu is not equal to mu zero, or mu is smaller than mu zero. This is equivalent to testing if the differences are greater than, not equal to, or smaller than zero. Here is the definition of the t-test statistic for such a testing problem. Let's have a closer look at this definition. First, you see it depends on the sample size n, the sample mean xn, and on the sample standard deviation that we called sn. Quantities that you can always compute directly from the data. Now remember, the data were supposed to be representations of normally distributed random variables. This implies that under the null hypothesis, t is in fact the studentized mean introduced to you before. So you know it has a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. This fact you need to draw conclusions from the test you are performing. Now let's go back to our example of student's length. So statisticians picked 25 Amsterdam students at random and found their average length was 181.3 centimeter. Is it a coincidence that the mean length is below the national mean length or not? What hypothesis do you test? Well, the null hypothesis is that the average length of the Amsterdam students is the same as the national average length. And the alternative hypothesis is that the average length is below the national average. The mean length of the 25 students is equal to 181.3 centimeters. The sample standard deviation was computed by the researchers to be 4 centimeters. So the value of t is equal to the number obtained by doing the calculations on the slide. This is equal to minus 1.625. Let's perform the test at a significance level of 5%. To decide whether you reject the null hypothesis, you have to compare the outcome of your test statistic t to the critical value of the t-distribution with 24 degrees of freedom. This critical value can be found in a table. In this case, it is 1.711. Because the test is one-sided, you need to take the critical value of the t24 distribution at alpha equal to 0.05. Because the t-distribution is symmetric, you compare the value of your test statistic to the left critical value minus 1.711. And you see that it does not lie in the critical region. So you cannot reject the null hypothesis that Amsterdam students are as tall as their Dutch colleagues. This means that the data do not provide enough evidence to conclude that Amsterdam students are shorter. So in this video, you learned that if you want to test hypotheses comparing an expectation to an a priori given value in the case of normally distributed data with unknown variants, you can use the t-test to do this. And you learned how to compute the t-test statistic that provides you with a numerical value to decide whether to reject the null hypothesis for such a testing problem. To check if you understood this well, perform the test for the following data. 36 students from the Technical University of Delft are measured. Their average length is 184.6, 
with a standard deviation of 4 cm. Can you conclude from these data that Delft students are taller on average at a significance level of 1%? Good luck. <laughs>